the worst press start button screen ever. <laughs> it is bad. Not a fan of that. Thankfully, the game is a bit better. Is this working yet? Sweet. Okay. I looked up what that infiltrator mode is. Apparently it was exclusive to like the Steam version or something before. But if they added it in as a part of this enhanced edition or whatever. So I'll be looking forward to that because I don't have a clue what that's about. Do I need to use this? Probably not. I should probably use my uh, conventional guns. Oh my goodness, this is gone pearly. It's hard to die in this game. Well, every time it feels like you're going to die, you end up doing okay <laughs> in the end. Hold on. I can equip that over. Um, maybe I should try it. Give it a go, even though I upgraded the other one. Oh no, that overheats really easily, yeah. I'll stick to this one. Oh, we can take pictures now? That's right, they only just introduced that at the end of the last part. Schwinn for taking a terrible picture. Hacking time, Frogger hype. Hello, Miles. I hope you're doing well. 
Hacking genius. Holy crap. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you to say. People say I sound uh, quite calm and relaxing. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Hey, Vice. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So this door here... This is uh, for a trophy. You obviously don't need to open this door, because it's like... <laughs> but I remember, like, I think one of the big websites, one of the big... Um, outlets were like, Oh my god, this game's so stupid! Look at the door! Uh, you don't need to open it! Uh, I'm like... Dude, it's it's just a joke trophy, you know what I mean? It's nothing to get worked up over, you, you feel me? Anyway. So I'm like from Perth, I'm nowhere near from Perth. Perth is on the other side of the world. <laughs> this is hard, this is a... It is rated hard, this block pick. Oh, that's so close, and I broke up. No, nearly broke all my lockpicks. Wank. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, Vice, like, one of my. I don't know. One of my, uh,. I don't want to call it a goal, that's how, that sounds cheesy. I want to make people that aren't shy feel like they're comfortable, you know what I mean? That's something I try my best to do. You get 5 XP for shooting these. Fred's not going to like that if he comes by later. Hey Alphonse, by the way. I do not have an ASMR channel, that is pure, that's bogus information if I ever saw it. But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But yeah, I want to try my best to, uh, you know, include people and, you know, make people feel like they're welcome, but... It's hard, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing half of the time anyway. I can craft 34 lockpicks, holy smoke. I will crack I will craft it. Hello Dark Poro. But yeah, I, I hopefully I'm not a scary person to interact with. <laughs> and I don't think the chat are scary either, I think. The people who come by here regularly are very nice. I'm very lucky that I can turn on the stream and a bunch of awesome people show up. I don't take it for granted whatsoever. And I don't know what I've done to earn this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah, yeah. Billy Bob's an asshole, though, apparently, according to this note. You remember you remember the pipe bombs that are the ones that go poof? The can grenades go kaboom, right? It's pretty easy to understand, but for Billy Bob it ain't. I don't know what this accent is. <laughs> Billy Bob! You probably already noticed that our little hideout is ha missing a wall. It is so it's something to do with that Skynet Crowder getting inside. <laughs> Billy Bob's trigger happy demeanor with all the talks of the annihilation line coming the fact that we literally don't have a roof over our fucking heads we decided to head south if you ever get back I want you to look for us there no one's blaming you for what happened we still think of you as a part of this group I need you to remember Billy Bob's an asshole so there you go some Terminator lore that's canon <laughs> Billy Bob everyone's favorite character in the franchise immortalized in this video game 
What was I doing before? Oh yeah, I was trying to open this door. But I don't need the open, but I want to get the, the trophy for it. Maybe I should just force it. Oh, got it. Just from forcing it. Fantastic. There you go. That's actually the hardest trophy in the game to get in the base version. And they added a couple of trophies in this version, the enhanced version for the uh, extra mode, the infiltrator mode or whatever. Hello, Fred. You'll be sad to know. Uh, th well, you'll be happy if there's rats in this game, but you'll be uh, upset to know that rats, when they get when you kill them, they give you XP. So you're actually rewarded for killing rats. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry to break the bad news. I don't know what you thought of this game looking at it yesterday, but I'm sure your opinion of it has uh, went down the toilet. Yeah, bye. <laughs> That's the exact response that I... Uh, expected but yeah I hope everyone's doing great tonight that's a uh, battlefield that's not terminator you idiot vod crack you god gamer fool <laughs> there was that game uh terminator it was either Rise of the Machines or War of the Machines. I get them mixed up. Because there was a console one that was developed by Black Ops Entertainment, which were the people that did um, 007 The World Is Not Enough, but on PlayStation, because the Nintendo 64 version was different. But they did that, and they also did um, that horrible game. It was called America's 10 Most Wanted in Europe, but it was called Fugitive Hunter in the US. It's the infamous game where you... Um, beat up Osama Bin Laden at the end, of it. he's the final boss. But yeah, they uh, did a Terminator game on consoles that was, I think, Rise of the Machines, and then there was a PC one, but it was basically a Battlefield knockoff. That, that, that's, so there, there is a Battlefield Terminator link. He's, that Terminator's dual with him. Very impressive, that. You you must you did did I show off? I think I did. Remember when we did Max Payne ages ago, and I showed off the Easter egg where if you throw a grenade in their hole, then a bunch of rats spawn with guns and they kill you. You must have loved that. That must be like the best game ever. <laughs> uh, is this the right way? Not really. Should be taking more pictures. Zoom in, get a good shot of this bad boy. It's good, it's good, good little Easter egg. I like it. I don't know if the uh, taking pictures does much. I, I know uh, Bioshock had that mechanic, right? There you go, that was a good picture. Apparently. Oh, it's getting back up. I think there was a, a rat easter egg in Hitman Blood Money as well. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was on the uh, the opera level. I can't remember what it's called. Curtains down. That was good. Yes, that's right, because they, um, there's only one grenade in that level. And I think, um, if I remember correctly, if you wait too long, like the enemy if it's carrying the grenade, if he throws it, then you've lost it, basically. So 
You have to make sure you kill that one guy before he drops it. Or before he uses it, so that he drops it. And you have to run all the way back to the start with that grenade. With that one grenade and make sure you throw it in the hole correctly. But yeah, it was worth it. It was worth the effort. I'm glad I showed that out. Red plasma cells. What's my ammo situation like? That's the thing about modern games. They often take your head away from away on you and I get why because of like TVs and burning and stuff but like yeah it's annoying sometimes I just want to see what what stuff I have you know my TV is really bad for like HUD elements being burned into it and stuff it's really bad I should just get a new TV to be honest I'm just lazy Oh yeah, I have like a Terminator knife now. Right, I forgot about that. I need to do that. Sneak up behind one and jam it in. Pipe grenade. I need to craft some healing. My pack backpack is full. Can't be having that. Um. Oh, it's. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. I think it is. Yeah. Well, termination knife. It's not much better, is it? Pretty lame. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to get rid of. This, obviously, small caliber. Just throw it away. Hey, PZ. Let's see. All oh, these are not. I don't, well, I don't know if you can uh, use the termination knife on these spider things. Where am I supposed to be going? I'm going the wrong way, that's for sure. That's going towards the main objective, and I want to do the side stuff first. You feel me? So far zero, unfortunately. <laughs> Apparently that's a good quality picture. That's terrible quality. What's it talking about? Oh, is it just talking about like the the focus, I guess? Be like Peter Parker now. Photo, good. What about this one? Did I get a picture of that? No photo taken, apparently. Doesn't stay still long enough. Okay, I think that's good enough.
I should have crafted ammo, probably. Not too late to do that. If I have to. I can always switch to the... Oh, look at that. He holds it. Yeah, badass. Demonstrating the fast brain. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't remember the story in this, so anything could happen, even though I've played it before, I don't, I honestly don't remember. Anything could happen. With a sufficient explosive skill, you can t temporarily disarm, or even collect planted laser tra traps. Yes, I have played this before, yeah. Explosive skill level one required. I don't even have that setting. Oh, yeah, well, you seem to think so. You seem to think I created this. I mean, if I created this single handedly, that would make me a god video games producer, creator. <laughs> this would be very impressive as a single person project. Go with 105. Developer, that's the word, Fred. You know, you know, you're the one. You're the actually smart one. I'm just, I'm just here to look good and take the money. But yeah, you actually know what's up. <laughs> Spencer, there has to be a hospital nearby. Sovereign Hospitality is a song by Ludacris. Uh, if you're reading this, then you must have gotten past my security system. Well, it was pretty poor security. It wasn't too hot. You must be as sharp as a sack of marbles, but as a, what? But as you've already noticed, I'm very protective of my stuff, so if you have any senses, you'll put back whatever you try to take and go on your merry way. But if you're one of them Terminators and you're reading this, fan good for you. I didn't even know y'all could do that. And since we're actually communicating and all, I got a favor to ask. Could you let me know why y'all need teeth? This is a good question, actually. I've wondered this. That's something that's been on my mind, on my mind for a while now. I mean, y'all don't eat, don't chew, and I assume y'all don't brush either. So why the chompers? Well, they might brush, you know what I mean? They might rust up a bit. I don't know. Terminator Laura. Really? Explosive materials. That's an insult, Pisa. You have to take that back. <laughs> sometimes it is quite quiet, yeah. But sometimes it's fine, isn't it? It seems to be a bit up and down. Oh, I don't know. I can't make promises like that on the fly. Oh my goodness. A kiss on the forehead? Why is that what you want? Is that why you're here? <laughs> my, my. Huh. 
The disable the Skynet or post you need to destroy the generator. Alternatively, you can hack the main computer and seize control over all enemy turrets on outpost premises. Where is a terrible button for this? How is that a bad picture? It's great! Fantastic! And now it turns to good. It says no photo taken. What's this I'm taking? fed up with that <laughs> and uh, that terminator is also fed up with that just, when you stop taking pictures of me you're gonna die in there I noticed I was looking at the trophy list for this yesterday after the stream there's two broken trophies, so it's impossible to get the platinum right now, isn't that correct? Because one of them is like open, it's like pick lock, open 10 things or whatever, and I've probably already done that. But it's stuck at one, and um, I was going to say. It's stuck at one and you know on PlayStation it tells you like the percentage of people that have got that trophy and it's at 0, 0.0 meaning that no one in the world has got it. So it's obviously broken. So they need to fix that. And I'm sure they will but pretty embarrassing isn't it? I should shoot the explosive things more often. It works. It's a good tactic. Maybe I should use one of my termination knives, so knives, knives. Paid for products, well, I actually technically didn't pay for this, but we'll not get into that. Because, you know, it is still a product you pay for, but this specific version, because I owned the previous version, they gave it to me for free, but... That's just me being pedantic. Reminds me of like Dishonored or something, the way he holds that knife. Which is a game that I never got... I liked it, but I never finished it. I remember it getting pretty bad, toward, like later on, like way later on, and I kind of lost interest. But I really liked the first two thirds or so, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it does, because there's a mode, originally it was exclusive to the Steam version, but they've added in, added it to this version, and that has a few, there's a few trophies for that, so that wouldn't have been in the original release. The infiltrator mode or whatever, which I know nothing about, so, should be interesting. Frog, frog champ, lizard champ. I can't even remember the name of the guy who said that back in the day when I was playing Serious Sam um, the Second Encounter. I remember the game I was playing when that when that happened, but I can't I can't tell you who who it was. Some guy he uh, hasn't come back since. <laughs> Can you use the uh, termination knife on a flamethrower wielding one? 
might be a bit iffy. Nice make it. Their loss. Well, thank you, Fred. I appreciate that. You're very kind. You're definitely the number one, like, cheerleader <laughs> out of everyone. But everyone's been really nice recently, saying really nice things about me and the stream, so. And it's all highly, you know, it makes me very happy. Cause see, if I wasn't doing this, I don't know what I would be doing. Honestly, I, I don't know. Like, what would I be doing instead? I have no idea. Is my chance? I was wondering if he was going to turn around because I'm walking instead of... Uh... I don't like this camera system at all. I think it's whack. It's fiddly. It's no fun. Stupid. All of the above. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, hi, hi there. Who turned that team back? Oh my good lord. That's a big one. I seem to be kind of surrounded here. Oh. <laughs> no appropriate target finder. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh. Like, are you actually just playing with me here? I like it, Fred. Oh, that's a game I should play someday. Robocop versus Terminator. Of course, we heard some of the music from it recently. Terminator. But yeah. What a game. The Mega Drive version specifically. Super Nintendo version. Not so good. Oh, that, that, that achievement. Or achievement. That trophy works. The hacker one. I think it's the lock picking one doesn't work. Maybe they've passed it today and I didn't notice. It's a possibility. That's something I don't like. You know, when you fail in a game, it's like picking up all of the stuff again. I don't mind the fact that I have to like play better and do better it's just like the little tiny stuff associated with doing it over picking up all of the garbage garbage though uh good band as we uh discussed <laughs> last part that was good good chat good random music chat in the middle of last stream it's good Oh, possibly for it, you know, I'm sure this is, I don't know how many people are watching that and I don't want to know, but I'm going to guess, you know, at least uh, 54,000 people right now. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Close. 
Why do you think it is that I know lots of things? Because I guess? <laughs> no. Actually, I hate that. I hate people that... Um, I hate people that... No, hate's the wrong word. It's... <laughs> it's wind it back a bit. Uh, it annoys me when people say... Stuff they know that they don't really know if it's right, but they say it anyway. That annoys me. It's like if you don't know, don't say it. Don't like. Don't try and act like you know. Act like you know. Good song. Fat Larry's band. Any Fat Larry's band fans in the audience tonight? Me and Fred don't disagree on much. It's a beautiful thing. I feel like this game's gotten harder since last time I played it. Remember last part? I was absolutely just destroying these things. I'm dead now. Well, maybe not. Oh no. Nearly out of ammo. Zoom, yep. Yeah. I know that sounds here, that's, that's the tooth. But Larry's band songs, I know. You've exhausted my noise. Just like the the conversation about Par Paramount 5000. <laughs> that was, what, two songs as well? I think three, actually. Someone reminded me of another one. Um... Get the knife back out. It's hard though, because they actually don't, you know, to the game's credit, they don't follow predictable patterns. They kind of seem like they go all over the place, which is good, but it just makes it hard to plan. Well, thank you, Fred. See what I mean? Nothing but kind words from this man. I mean, it was sloppy as hell. I probably should have died, but you know. I guess we shouldn't worry about that too much. That sign. That has to be Jennifer's house. See that quest title on the right hand side? Chalk full of surprises. Obviously, it's like a little pun there. But do you not think that's a bit strange, having that, like, in this, like, quite somber, you know, s fairly serious game with a lot of death and destruction and everything's horrible, but yet they have, like, puns for quest names? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into that, but it's, like, gives it this weird, like, uneven tone. Why is he wearing that? <laughs> uh, save game, sure. I like the buzzy noise at the uh... what the knife mix.
You notice no slump. Where's the rest? Huh. Is that a map to your hiding place back here? The other voice line seemed quite quiet. I think as well. Um, I think if you notice no slump, I think you might need to see, you might need to get new glasses, possibly. At this point, I'm just forcing most of the locks and taking my chances. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> nice that they give you the option to do that. Gilbert? I think it's the first time I found one of those. Maybe I, there were ones earlier in the game, but I didn't see them. I feel like I should probably put points in the stealth, but. Mm. I definitely want that. Is this any time when the game goes, do you want, you know, 5%, 10%? It's like, it's not enough. It's not, it doesn't move me. It doesn't excite me. If it was like 50%, I'd be like, yeah, give me that. But, you know, 5 or 10%, it's kind of... I don't know. Borderlands is very guilty of that. If you put a skill point in this, it makes you reload 3% faster. It's like, wow, awesome. I was afraid to bring up this topic again, so I decided to leave you this letter. I hope it finds you. I don't think it's safe for you and your brother to stay at the house anymore. Something broke inside. What? Something broke inside Ed? Ed 209? And we're scared he might do something to one of you. He is not the same man he used to be. We are leaving tomorrow and I really think you should reconsider coming with us. We'll be waiting for both of you until Sunday. I'm writing this with the best of intentions. I hope you understand. Be safe. Rose. Oh, that's not, that's not fair, PZ. I, I would disagree with that. Do you not think I've said some nice things about this game? I don't know, maybe I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I think this game has some qualities. That's, you know, not terrible. I mean, that's not a very good box quote, is it? <laughs> In quotes, not terrible. Some guy on the internet, you know, but it's one of the best Terminator games. Again, that's not, it's not saying much, is it? Very uh, spotty track record there. The Terminator Salvation game that came out on uh, PS3 and 360 is horrible. Really bad. I'll probably play that on stream someday. Torture myself. Yeah, I'm sucking up to the game. Love it now. Why is it obvious? What did I say? Did I say mean, horrible things? <laughs> That doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> Have I encountered any bugs? I don't think so. Not to my knowledge, I'm getting spotted by something. Oh no. You know what happened there? I hit R2 instead of square to take the picture. But that's because square is a terrible button. For that. Oh, another Porsche went. Very polished experience. I did not say that. I just want to make that clear. Can I kill this? You definitely could. I don't know if I've got the ammo for it, but you definitely could. Oh, boo.
That's a big one. I'm stuck on something. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't happen. The FOV is pretty tight, yeah. It's not too bad because you're, you know, as, as you know, I'm playing on console here, I'm playing it on a television, so it's not really too bad. But if you were playing this at your desk on a monitor, it would be pretty bad, yeah. Could have saved. Moron. Maybe I should put my point into that instead for now. Hello, games player. Hope you're doing well today. Read this earlier. I didn't know there was one right here. Forget about me. Let me uh, load. Oh no, not load. Oh wow, it <laughs> keeps every auto save. Pretty intense. So. Hmm. I thought he was. The, the Terminator was gonna be like right here. My PC specs are pretty mediocre. It's I don't know. I don't I don't know exactly what even they are, but it's like an i5 processor. It's not from that great. Eight gigabytes of RAM again, not from that great. Um, 1060 graphics card, but it's the three gigabyte model, not the six gigabyte one. So yeah, it's pretty meh computer. I'd quite like to get a new one, to be honest, but I don't know when. Don't really care about playing games that much on PC. Just a better PC for uh, streaming purposes would be good. Here we go. Wow, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? I was expecting it to explode and go pew! No. Not at all. <laughs> but I got a Porsche right out of it, so... Not, not all bad. So, hold on. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that quest is... Still... I was wondering there because... I was wondering if that was already checked off, like it remembered. You can kill that, obviously. It's pretty, not, you know, not terribly far away from being that earlier, but just don't think I have the ammo for it right now.
Let's see if I can craft more. Can I save now? Cheers. <laughs> um, 15. 209 shots. Probably not enough, but we'll give it a go. I just saved anyway, so not, not a big deal if we don't do it right now. I would quite like for it to turn around. Is this... Okay. Clip in there, beautiful. That this isn't working out, is it? This is a good spot. <laughs> that would be lovely. And it made an obnoxious beeping noise. Beep, <laughs> beep, beep. Okay, I'm out of ammo, but we do have 600 rounds of this, so... Weapon ineffective? No. We have nine pipe bombs, then. Appreciated that, okay. I'm glad. I've wasted all of my ammo for it, like so. What's the worst thing about killing the T-47? It's still only one kill. Yeah, but got me the Porsche win and that's all I heard of it. The most important thing of all, no, no, the lie. I just lied. Disclaimer, don't listen to me.
I don't think it. Well, I'm. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I don't know if I've ever had a lucid dream, but I'm very poor at remembering dreams in general. I'm not very good at that. I seem to forget them as soon as I wake up in most cases, or I'll remember them for about five minutes after I wake up, and then that's it. It's over. I would like need to write it down or something. I think that's a good thing though, honestly. I think it's probably better that you don't remember your dreams. I've definitely had it where you know you open your eyes if it's like a really bad dream and you open your eyes and you just like you have that like I don't want to move. Well, I have that anyway. That, like, feeling of God, you know? I've had that. Still don't know what I was dreaming about, but I know it was bad when I opened, when I, when I you know, reached consciousness. No, that would be awful. I I <laughs> sharing, well, I don't know. Would you consider dreams a part of your personal life? I, I think so. I think dreams are very personal a lot of the time. Sometimes they're very, uh, you know, personal. Sometimes they're very stupid and they've got absolutely nothing to do with your personal life. But I think, I don't know. It, it's a fascinating thing to think about. It probably reveals a lot about our psyche and all that kind of stuff. You know, the people that actually delve into dreams and actually try and figure out what's, you know, what the meaning of it of them are and all that stuff. I, it's a pretty fascinating topic, but I would be terrible at those studies because I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with that, I don't know. I can't jump this, really. Wow. I was going through all, all of my old uh, clips again last night, as you may have noticed if you follow, or you, you're on my Discord. And I'll... <laughs> It was a good one. I didn't post it, but it was a good one that uh, Fred clipped of me playing Call of Juarez from last year. And it's called Worst Kick Ever. <laughs> it's good. Um, morale in our community hasn't been so great since Ed decided to lock up the sanctuary. A new addition to our group should liven things up a bit. At least I hope so. Her name's Erin, and I think we have a lot in common. She has, She's a doctor, and I think of myself as much of a book. Some sort of spiritual healer, so I believe we're going to get along just fine. I have to remember to ask her about what she did when those bombs hit. She has a great story about it. The lore is just more Beautiful. Well, thanks for teaching me how this works. What is it? What does it want me to take a picture of? I'm sorry if this is not terribly exciting, this part of the game. Let's be honest, it's not. <laughs> well, thanks for it, you know, it was, it was hard work, but we got there.
slow-mo stimulant? You mean bullet time? You know what? I've went on long enough with having the default <laughs> item limit. I think it's Warner Brothers that own the Matrix, right? Any fans of the Matrix online in the audience tonight? Tumbleweed. <laughs> the crazy thing about the Matrix online for me is that it was developed by Monolith. One of my all-time favorite developers. So what the hell were they then working on? MMORPG on the Matrix, that's just wild. Why? Yeah, the Matrix Online, it ran for about five years or so, I think. It's long been since shut down. <laughs> Peaked with five players? Probably. No, I don't know. No problem, Fred. I hope you enjoyed reading about that. The history of The Matrix Online. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a good documentary to be made from that. Maybe not a full documentary, but like, I don't know, 20 minutes. I don't like MMORPGs, but you know. I keep tiles. I try my best to keep tiles and everything, so. Especially, I think, with that one, it's because it was developed by Monolith. It's like, wow, really? You know, because they're mostly an FPS developer, you know? Played all the Neopet games. How did you know? I got a Neopet poster up my wall still. Go on, PZ, don't expose me like that. gonna go well. I don't even know what a Neopet is. The name sounds familiar but I know nothing about that. Sorry to break the illusion but I people seem to think I know everything. That is a lie. Far from the truth. I think anyone, this is something that I stole from uh, this uh, quote I stole from uh, the lead singer of my favourite band, Clutch, um, Neil Fallon. He once said, uh, anyone who acts like they know everything, they're more likely to be a, a dumbass, you know what I mean? And that's so true. You know, if you instead approach life in like a more, you know, like you're constantly learning sort of way then you're more likely to actually learn more or know more than the person who supposedly knows everything in quotes you know 
So that's stuck with me over the years. The sound of my voice. Everyone's talking about my voice these days. Why are we wrong with it? <laughs> Philosopher? No. No, no, no. Again. That sounds pretentious to me. Whoa. I love the noise. The quick man makes when he jumps. That's good shit. That explosion did not really do much, though. No? Real shit, exactly. Frogger. I think that's probably way easier if an actual Frogger. I'm sure actual Frogger is probably quite hard. I haven't played it in so long. Can I not hack this? No. This reminds me of like some Bioshocks or shenanigans here with the turret. The game I should probably play on streams one of these days. Eventually. So many games, so little time. I think I have controversial opinions on Bioshock, but I'll keep them to myself. <laughs> For now. Well, as a franchise. The first one, not so much. What goes there? I can tell you, well, I haven't played Bioshock Infinite since when it was new, which is, you know, eight years ago now, but I thought it was extremely, like, extremely overrated. I'm like, why is everyone going nuts over this? It's really not that good. But that was eight years ago, so there you go. <laughs> Things might have changed since then. That can be a debate for another day. I 
I hate it when games... <laughs> I hate using the word hate, it's too strong. I don't like it when games... They start off with like having... You know, you can carry all your weapons, and then the, in the next one you can't do that anymore. That's... Rubbish. Resistance is a really good example of that. Resistance 1? Great. Resistance 2 is a steaming piece of poo. Don't like it at all. <laughs> Resistance 3, pretty good though. But they got it right with the third one, but I, oh god, the second one's so bad. Run. How <laughs> many video games are there? Holy smokes. But that doesn't even count uh, like PS5 games, it seems, from that quote. Not that there's that many, but you know. Send them an angry letter, please. Please do that. Thank you. Fabrics. I should stop being so busy and actually try and pick the looks, huh? Slow mo. Isn't that what they call the drug, drug and dread, right? They they actually call it slow mo. Hello Illuminati. Any steroid abusers in the audience tonight? Probably at least a couple. Enjoy Fred with the urination process. I hope it's good. <laughs> I hope it works out for you. When PZ uh, joined the chat yesterday, I was in the middle of reading out one of the, the notes in this game. And I was doing it in a gravelly kind of Batman slash Liam Neeson kind of way. That was, I think, a more eventful way of entering the stream. <laughs> but, you know. It went fine, good, good, good. We don't want there to be any mishaps there. Dispensary. This is it. Looks like Colin was really prepared. 
Taking all these drugs. <laughs> I love that he actually says that I lied. X character will like that. How is Illuminati doing today? Skyrim? You watched me play this yesterday and you were like, I need to hop on. I need to play something that's a little bit like that, but not really. <laughs> so let me beat up the Skyrim. It's grey. It's monotonous. It has leveling up. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't hate Skyrim. I don't hate it. I just don't like it. There's a distinction there. I've never played Oblivion or Morrowind or Daggerfall or Arena. That's all of the games in reverse order. I haven't played any of the other ones. I just played Skyrim, and that's it. Well, buy me at PZ. How about that? Because I don't think I have it. Will you play Sky Oblivion? What's what's that? Is that a mod? You cheeky bastards. Where do you check? What do you mean? I don't understand. My Steam list? It's on my Discord. Which you're probably not a part of. Did that do no damage? Oh no, it did a little damage. Oh, I'm sure that will probably never come out, Illuminati. It'll be one of those... Things so it just doesn't get finished. Is it out? Interesting. I don't think you guys would want to actually watch me play that. It would just be me moaning. <laughs> well, I can't really say that about Oblivion because I haven't played it. But... In Oblivion, you level up your skills by doing them, isn't that right? I remember hearing about that ages ago. It's a bit different though, isn't it? 
I don't know, I'm sure someone knows better than I do. I thought it was a bit different, the way Oblivion handled it. Like, I thought it was like San Andreas, where you level up swimming by swimming and all that kind of stuff. It's not a lot like called acrobatics or something. Where is this? I don't think it did. I think that it worked slightly differently. I know what you mean as far as like, you know, your one-handed goes up if you use one-handed weapons, etc. Like that bit, I think is the same, but the actual, like your passive skills going up, I think that's different now. Yeah. Ah, poo. Just kill me. It's gotten a lot harder this game ever since uh, yesterday, definitely. <laughs> they ramped it up. Crazy to think Skyrim's 10 years old this year. Isn't that mad? That is unbelievable to me. I remember 11, 11, 11. I didn't buy it, like, but you know. I just remember all of the hypes around it. That's wow. I don't know what to say about it. Slow down a little bit. That's one thing that Manhunt's really good at. I love the default like movement speed in Manhunt. You were always just fast enough to catch up to them. It was great. It's, it's, a, it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. <laughs> GTA 5, 8 years old. I mean, that's kind of... Crazy too, but it's, you know, obviously it's not the big 10-year gap, I don't know. Time flows. Especially as you get older. Are you, are you joking, Illuminati? What? Is this a troll? You haven't seen the Terminator. What? Oh, I'm blown away. You're quite. You're quite into movies compared to me.
The first Terminator is not that sci-fi, though it's actually... It actually feels more like a horror film. It's not a horror film, but it feels like one. Just because of the, the setup, you know? But like, even Terminator 2, a lot of it takes place present day. It doesn't really feel like an actual proper sci-fi thing. Like, these war bits, they're in there, but they're very fleeting. You know what I mean? There's not a ton of that. From memory. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen them, but yeah. No, they're really good. Yeah, yeah. The, the first two are really good, I mean. You don't need to see any of the ones after that, but yeah. Have you seen Robocop Illuminati? I assume you haven't. Wow. That's fantastically good as well. And I know, I, I'm not a big movie person, as you guys know. But those are worth seeing. And to answer your question earlier, I'm not a robot now. I wish it was. Really, Illuminati? Is it that bad? I have. I'm. That's something I'm not into is television shows at all. Apart from Father Ted, that's it. <laughs> That's it. It's where it stops with me, but um Oh was it is it that bad? Yeah. Yeah, I did hear about that, yeah, yeah. I just heard everyone complaining about how bad the got ending was. The GOAT of finale. The greatest of all time. You liked it that much, Alphonse? <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. Is that, good? Is that a good read? Do you want me to say it again? You want me to put on a bit of an accent, like, uh, sort of broaden it up a bit? Right, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. What about that? Sorry, I'm not good at Frogger today. There's only one thing I'm interested in, and that's catching bent coppers. They wouldn't say that. They would say bent palers. That's what they would say. They wouldn't say coppers. Who says that? Terrible, terrible show. I should have wrote, wrote it. <laughs> I don't think my readings are very good, by the way. I think they're pretty flat. That's why I never made it in the acting acting game. I like that it reminds me every time about walls. 
I'm glad it reminds you. <laughs> They're lost. Well, thank you. You're too kind. <laughs> no, it's not something I would want to do. I love the idea of being someone else. I think that's fantastic. But uh, and I sort of um, thrive off that energy in certain situations, like in um, streaming's not a good example. Um, anytime I have to do a speech for something, which isn't often, but it has happened, um, I always pretend I'm playing a role and I'm being someone else. I'm not being myself. That's my mental trick of trying to get me through it. But, yeah, maybe that's just because I'm a bit weird. <laughs> now we're sucking diesel. There we go. That's, <laughs> that's good. Come on, give me the part now. <laughs> I'm happy with that reading. That line. I think I nailed that one. I've never heard that before in the... Oh my god, explosion. Thank you, Fredster. At least one person fought something. Baron appreciated that. I've got two skill points and I've been sitting on them. What a twat. Um, I should probably put my toughness up. Because I am getting pretty, you know, melted by all this laser fire. No problem, PZ. Oh, I thought you were gone. <laughs> well, I do recommend that you go and do that. Don't let me hold you back. Yo, wank. Yeah, no, I... Uh, it's Well, it didn't sound like you were gone. You can't blame me for that one. better now. Were you there, PZ, when one two three robot did a horrendous impersonation of me? Like it was embar like not not embarrassing, it's the wrong word, take that back. Um it was offensive, like it offended me on a deep level. <laughs> I wasn't there either, but I saw it later on. I was like, what is this? <laughs> it was, yeah, it was bad. I always feel like I should impersonate him back, you know, to get him back, but um, it hasn't happened yet. William, whatever, with his quotes. Not William Whaley, I have you understand. I need to make a clip of William Whaley, of that, of me, you know, being William Whaley. Just so we have that in the history books. Is he playing CSGO with Parrick?
<laughs> it could be Fred, yes. Again, I think the Oscars were just... bent. It would just sweep every single award. I hate awards, by the way. Vegas little rubbish. Why do I keep ragging on things? I need to stop it. I need to be positive and nice. No wonder people are afraid to say things in chat. It's like, oh my god, this guy hates everything. <laughs> What do I like? What's brilliant? What's awesome what's happening right now? See, it's tough. It's a hard, it's a tough world that we're living in at the moment. Maybe I said Illuminati, yeah, because Illuminati is the master of hating things. Like, just absolutely everything's awful in his world, so I've clearly been hanging out with him too often. I love Stoke Football Club. I think they're fantastic. Ricky Gervais hosting the Global Glo the Global Globes. <laughs> yep, that's what they're called. Yep. Um, I've heard I heard about it. I remember hearing about it at the time, but I don't remember what happened. The Golden Goblins. Sounds like a shitty uh, basketball team or something. You know the way the Americans love like their crazy names. The Dazzling Dingoes and all this kind of stuff. Hello Blue Dandelion. Good evening. I hope you're doing well. Uh, no, peace out. I made that up. It sounded convincing though because I just... I was quick, you know what I mean? I was off, I was just off the dome, but no, it was uh, completely made up. Yeah, that sounds familiar, Illuminati. Like I said, I remember hearing about it at the time. It just, yeah, it hasn't stuck with me, I'm afraid. Not like the way, like a lot of my useless like video game trivia has stuck with me over the years for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Blue Dandelion. I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain. I mean, this game is a bit boring at the moment, <laughs> but apart from that, can't complain. Well, thank you so much, Cloud Schiffer, for the massive raid. Hello, everyone. From Clouds Raid, thank you so much, and I hope uh, you had a marvellous stream. Then Kingdom Hearts. Re Chain of Memories. Welcome to the greatest game of all time. I know the brownest game of all time is probably the original Quake, but this might be the greatest game of all time. Should I get a McDonald's, yes or no? Sure, why not? Well, um, there's plenty of reasons why not, but, you know, let's not get into all that. How was morning going back to work? I didn't go to work today. I was off today. It's a bank holiday Monday, which means free day off. So I did nothing today. This is the most productive thing I've done. Just play a video game while talking into a microphone. That's the, uh, that's the, that's the excitement. That's the thing. GG, well played. Thank you very much. I did a great job picking up that med kit there. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, Clyde, yeah. I feel you. I feel you on that. I used to be there too. Back in the day. Back when I first started, back in 20... Well, late 2017, I won in 2018. Some of the guys that have been here the longest would remember. But my streams used to be, like, long. Like, really long. The early days. And I remember when uh, I told my uh, closer friends, you know, that... Uh, I was getting the, I've, you know, I'd got a job lined up and everything. I think everyone was worried, but like my streams were just gonna either disappear completely or be like very like intermittent. But they've actually, I think I've done a decent job of uh, keeping it up. Still going strong after all this time. And I've been working for about two years now, nearly. Which is crazy to think. Time. Time is amazing, isn't it? How quick it, it goes. That's the last one. Good job with these pictures, River. Thank you. One step closer to preparing a counterattack. It's just less than two years. It will be. It will be two years exactly on the thirteenth of May. That that was my start to resting place. Peter, it turns out there are people still out out there, and you thought we were the only ones who survived. I decided I'm going to stay with them for a while. I don't think it's particularly safe here, but I'm tired of running. You know, we're not getting any younger. There's this guy, Ryan. An old guy like us. Who reminds us of how we've aged. All of them think they have a story to tell since they've lived through Judgment Day. You know what he asked me? He asked me if I remembered coffee. Quite an icebreaker, don't you think? I think you'd like him. You guys seem to, uh, you seem to have quite the time annoying me. My watch is ended soon. I miss you and I miss real coffee. It's a secret Illuminati. I won't tell you exactly, but I do boring office work. But I won't tell you exactly. It's a secret. Nothing too fancy. I'm not like, you know, testing, you know, making crash test dummies or flying rockets in the space or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing anything that awesome. For being a god gamer of a massive fan base, I know it's crazy. I'm very lucky. Every, all of the stars have a line. Oh, you can't open things while you're getting shot at, which is like in real life to be fair. Remember when I put that skill point into like better health or whatever? It's not really paying off. It hasn't, uh, you know, that plus 10%, it's not exactly uh, proven, showing itself right now. I'm not reading that again. Oh, I didn't know you read that Illuminati Wankers Weekly. Well, you know magazine it's just hanging on a you know it's hanging by a thread at the moment if we don't get a cash injection of at least 250 pounds in the next month i think uh you know i'll become a full-time twitch streamer <laughs> no it's all lies it's all made up it's all off the dome <laughs> yeah yeah i know what you're saying chloe I'm not talented, I can't do more than one thing at once, usually. Open up. Oh. Picking up stuff. I understand picking up like random resources like hills and bits of metal and all that, but why are like random like grenades lying around? I don't get that. How is the magazine called Wankers Weekly? It's uh, there uh, you go. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna say go to wankersweekly.com, but don't do that. Who knows what's gonna come up if you do that? Um, yeah, I need. 
Lock picks, not really. I'll make a big boy med kit. Yeah, you'd probably love it, Blue Danny. <laughs> you'd probably think it's really great. <laughs> it's, you want me to read that, Illuminati? Is that a line for my acting career? Now, now listen, Alison. I didn't float up the lagging in a bubble. What do you think of that? That's the that's the the Liam Neeson kind of <laughs> deliberate. <laughs> Snatch up that domain while it's still available. I wonder how much it is. Pretty penny. <laughs> no, listen, Alison. I will find you and I will kill you. No, that wasn't very good. I wasn't feeling it. I don't drink. I don't, sorry. Sorry, Blue Danny Land. I misquoted you. Sorry. I don't speak German, Azul some reason I put the word drink there instead. That would have been a bit weird. WordPress site called Wankers Weekly. Well, thank you for telling me that. I'll get in contact with my legal department and get that shut down. Yeah, I thought it was lewd as well, Cloud. In fact, this is quite a lewd conversation. I should probably dial it back a bit. Make it more normal. Let's talk about video games. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to talk about video games, do they? Tumblr. Is that still a thing? Is that still going? I never used it. Like, it was never of interest to me, but... Illuminati does not strike me as the sort of person who would have a Tumblr. I'm shocked at that. But I was also shocked that he hadn't seen the Terminator either, so... Illuminati's just shocking me away here. He's everywhere, but he doesn't do anything, it seems. <laughs> he doesn't do things that matter, you know, like watching the Terminator. I always think those spider things are going to be really, really tough, and they end up being not tough at all. It's these blokes here. They're the ones you need to be scared of. I don't have any termination knives. I should actually probably make a few, because those are quite useful. Save game. You know the common song? I used to love her, yeah. And uh, Ice Cube inter interpreted that as a diss and they retaliated with the West Side uh, Connection song. What? No, well, it was like, technically a Mac 10 song, but it had all three of them on it um, called West Side Slaughterhouse. And uh, Ice Cube also took a shot on him on the song Who Banging, the West Side Connection version. I'm bombing on common sense, blah! Chicago is mine, full hit the fence, intense, ping ping suck a worldwide! You know, that bit. Good stuff. See? A font of useless information. I actually liked when he was called common sense. I don't know why he changed it. I'm not like a common expert, but I like the name Common uh, Common Sense. I do have some of his albums. I have a decent amount. I have um, the first two, and I have some of the, the later stuff. Which I got in charity shops back in the day.
I like those wood louse things, they're very nice. If only you could hack one and keep it as a pet and it travels around with you throughout the game, that would be lovely. Do I want to do that? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Fred. You go in and you're like, happy days, charity shop's back open, and then you look at the CD section and you see, dun dun dun, Big Bertha, standing in the way, blocking the way, looking at every single CD, one by one, picking it up, looking at the, the front of it and the back of it, and putting it back. It's like, come on, can you not read the spines like the way I do? <sighs> Big Bertha. I wish I could get anything that I'm actually interested in <laughs> instead of crumbling Soviet relics, yeah. I don't, I mean, I often don't get stuff that I'm interested in, in them. Especially, like, see, ever since the pandemic, I mean, I feel like they've not really cared about the stuff that I'm interested in, which is understandable. They're obviously focusing more on things like shoes and clothes and that kind of thing, you know, more like, quote-unquote, essential things, but, uh, yeah. I should probably, uh, buy stuff, possibly. I have loads of money, like, it's nearly six grand. Ball. I like the way Fred spelled it, big barfus. He's just going around barfing on things. Can't you smack big barfus head? No, she's big barfus. She'll like choke slam you through the <laughs> through the shelves if you do that. She's taller than I am. I'm not. For, I'm not very tall, but you know, big woman. Talk to her in a mo. Sleeping dog. Jacob, how is Pasadena? Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. I'm just glad that you're all right. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. Uh, have you decided on what you're going to do? I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? I've been meaning to tell you earlier, but I panicked. And that's because I decided to go with Ryan. We'll find somewhere safe, away from all this. But you have to understand, I need to do what's best for Patrick. I'm his big sis. I need to protect him. I... I haven't told him yet. He'll be devastated leaving you and Aaron, but I think it's for the best. I don't want to give it away, Blue Dandelion. You're just going to have to watch and find out. In Pasadena? No. I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. Actually, I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? How is that even possible? How is that even possible? With all the people constantly stopping by, there was always plenty to do at the house. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. My favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. I thought flamingos were pink. Patrick's mother gave me Not red. Huh. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave her. I thought Patrick was your brother. In our house, we were all brothers and sisters. But me and Patrick, we've always had this special bond. It's a ruse, so you lies. Was feeling. <laughs> We'd even get sick together. I remember the day Patrick's mom brought him in. They were both tired and dirty, so we took care of him. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. I think 
That was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. No problem, Cloud. Enjoy. Thanks for the raid again, and uh, great to see you. Male flamingos have red milk. Really? Where was she? I loved her. For the time she was with us, I liked to pretend she was my mother too. After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, you need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. And I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? Jennifer appreciated that. Good. Imagine if real life worked like that. You know, if you say something nice to someone, the whole thing pops up. That's in such appreciated time. Um, guess I'll go to bed. I'm not spread. Spread. <laughs> Wake up. Shh. We need to move. What? What's going on? Everyone, wake up! You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can't stay here any longer. She asks a question, and I suggest answering. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Would you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What do you mean, they found us? They were looking for us? Not for you. For him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here. It will lead you out. Use it. What was that? All right, Monster. everyone, get out! Jacob! Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Oh my goodness. Leave! Now! How the hell's he still alive? Go! 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 Watch out! Don't just stand there! Run! I'm not what well, I was gonna say earlier. I'm not surprised that Fred knows that. I don't know if it Fred is into his uh, birds. Blame me, yes. Baron, listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the annihilation line and some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. Google is very good, isn't it? At ease. Resistance soldier. Well, 
look at you, Sergeant. Yes. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something. How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. Yeah. I feel you, Fred. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. Guard. The commander Dog. is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. Marachino Charon Leader. Where do they keep finding this? I don't get it. Why did they bring that buggy? Hello, Mark. I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quarter yet. I still have three more rats to catch. Rats? If you see one, let me know, okay? Oh no. We're catching rats for this guy? Hey, I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. You won't tell, right? <laughs> uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? <laughs> Need anything? Can I see your hardware? Personal question, isn't it? It's better. The one I've got it's better. The scoped version. The sniper. Or like a real gun. Yeah. I remember that being quite good. I don't know if it's like four grand good, but. Hmm. I think I'm gonna sell this. Because it's crap. Blue Dandelion is very uh, excitable tonight. <laughs> hey Ryan, how's everything? Uh, exactly as you would imagine. Barons keep me busy. They weren't kidding when they said she's a hard ass. What did you hear? A lot of rumors going around of how she's sending insubordinate workers to the front line. And by insubordinate, I mean people who ain't willing to work 18 hours a day, every day. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden that became our life. No problem, friend. Didn't you try to reach home? Some people did. Most of us were scared of what we'd find if we did get home. So we conveniently said we are stranded here anyways and stayed. Well, I know how stupid it sounds, but we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still had my guitar with me and talked a lot about how we're going to be famous because we're the only living band in the world. What was your band's name? Well, we were thinking about changing it to Survivors, but something similar was already taken. Mm -hmm. We were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. 
We paid a price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. What did you do? I froze. I didn't run to help. I didn't scream. I didn't even move. I just stood there, like a coward. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam, just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. <clears throat> Locked. Do I need these to craft and tell them? Not really, but I just did. Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. You mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. How's Patrick doing? He's fine, but it wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Jennifer? I'm worried about her. I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the plague. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. I don't believe that for a second. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. Hmm. Getting more and more crabbed in here. Yeah. Alvin lost his spider scout again. I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. Almost gave me a heart attack. This is gonna be locked. It'll open at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> Memorandum? Is that how you say that? Commander Baron, I was very pleased to read the mission report from Pasadena. You're probably aware of this, but it is essential that we mobilize all the troops in your area and abandon all three, all level three posts. I posts? Blah, can't read. I understand the consequences and will take full responsibility for this. As for Private Rivers, I believe he deserves recognition for his actions. Perhaps a promotion is in order. I will leave that decision to you. I want you to keep him close. Signed, John Connor. Oh my God. The man himself. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned, so I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing, but Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Central Core? 
Skynet's main reactor, the source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, and given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? It's the right thing to do. There's nothing noble in what we do. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. But If that's how you view humanity, are we even worth fighting for? I'm just doing whatever it takes to survive. Saving humanity is just a bonus. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. Who wants to be a bully? Believe me. There will come a time when you'll become whatever you need to be to survive. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit, it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. Takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Don't like her. There's nothing in here, is there? Just double checking. There's the crafting thing. Then, yeah. Sweet. They don't want to talk, no. Nope. You want to leave the area? Yes. Echo, echo. Metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Why is it there? Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses, and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? Yes. It doesn't matter, Master. Understood. Go ahead, sir. At least it's a bit brighter than the last time. You 
two, follow me. We have to reach those defenses. I think this is more of a Call of Duty esque level, it seems. Vision by the music and the man running. Spiders up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. Oh. Oh no. I got excited there. I felt something was floating in the air, but it wasn't. Boom. This way. Good to see you, Sergeant. What's the status? We got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Skynet truck reinforcements behind their back. Now they're between a rock and a hard place. All right, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way. Welcome back, Fred and Joy. Hello, Maze Grub. Hello, Smurfy Murphy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Simple as that. No. It. It's weird because I think a lot of the some of the models, like the weapon models and the character models, are more like PlayStation Three era graphics. But then, like you see some of the effects, and they're clearly like nicer you know what i mean Keep moving. but no this i don't know why they felt the need to put this playstation 5 version out it doesn't look that much different it runs better than the ps4 version did but some rocking chains a lot of ammo. 162 shots in that. Do we have to kill that thing? I hope not. Ariel from the Little Mermaid. What's she doing here? I don't think I need to kill that. Critical hit. Now, shoot before it reboots. Finally, this way. Five hundred and fifty XP off that. Nice. Get up, get up. No. <laughs> it's a call back to the previous stream. Thank you, Fritz. It wasn't it wasn't hard in the slightest. 
I'm sure you would have been capable of doing that. Ammo's getting a bit lowish. Don't need that, but I'll take it. I should probably sell those, right? The chips that I don't need. Guess I'll use this. Even though it won't be any good whatsoever. Take a while. Weapon ineffective. That works. Son, take two of my men and proceed up that hill. We'll stay here to keep the guy that away from you. Empty of ammo now, at least for now. You do go through it pretty quickly. The, dog's in danger. Get the DOC. Follow me! We need to rescue the dog before those tanks reach us! Oh shit! We're too late! It's a bit dramatic. Oh no, it's Rob the robot. This is it. Take care of those drones. I forgot about like this stimulants and all that guff. I don't even know how to use those. If I want to use slow mo, L L one, I guess. Or you do no. I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Didn't mean to throw it. I used R1 to reload like if it was Vanquish.
Hello, Alvin. Alvin. Oh my God! I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. Baron's messengers. We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Nice goggles. Are you alright? Da 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 da. Bump, bump. We haven't heard this song in a while. Escort secured. Throwback to like the first level or something. The second level, maybe. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Ariel. What? Apparently I didn't follow him good enough. Okay, go. He was right there, I know. It's turning around. Garbage. <laughs> right behind us. Don't look back. Good idea. I don't know why it filled me there. Oh, Porsche went. You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. Hey, <laughs> glad to see you alive. And thanks for sticking your neck out for us. I wanted to tell you that, you know, just in case. Hey, are you all right? We just got the news about the attack. Eyes look weird. Nice stuff. Don't move. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I want to play it for you, but my boombox is busted. So uh, if you're out there and find one that works, bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Yeah, some bling bling. Jacob. How are the wounded doing? The few that came back, they're doing fine. We patched them up, and at this point, we're just sitting and waiting. What's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about him. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. Are you thinking about anything in particular? About the day we first met. It was long before Judgment Day. I was getting coffee on my way to school. I noticed him because he was buying tea in a coffee shop. Tea? I don't know why, but that made me smile. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's, he's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to find him? Sometimes I think I should drop everything and go. I would get an earful from Baron, but she's nothing I can't handle. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Okay. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. I think that Peter felt with Taylor, we were given a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? 
probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in Hollywood Hills. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. Now that you mention it... What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the Resistance. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. You killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine, he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. Way to make a good first impression. Sure is. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to Perry? Skynet got hold of our position. We had to leave our shelter. There were a lot of casualties, and he was one of them. He died a soldier. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first metal I ever destroyed. I'm not surprised. You were still just a kid. That doesn't mean I didn't have a kill count back then. It just consisted of people. But that's a different story. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Leveled up again. Faster Rito. Like, weapon upgrades 10% more effective. Rubbish. Uh... I'm probably going to end it very soon, like very, very soon. Patrick, you're up. There are people who need help more than me. Anyway, I can't talk. I have to bring something important to Aaron. I started a little later than I wanted to, but not the end of the world. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware?
without desert guided at lunch. I don't know. I feel like I probably should. However, I know that there is like a better version. Like there's better plasma introduced later. See the way it says first generation phase plasma rifle. But you get the better ones later on. So it feels like a waste getting a good weapon when it's first generation stuff. Huh. Wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. Yeah, that's true. Lately, I've been making extra runs to stock up on resources. The truth is, I was even thinking about leaving. But right now, I'm just waiting for my team to head back to downtown to look for other survivors. Let's hope there still are some. I see that Patrick is better. He is. He's a fighter. Certainly has more courage than I do. Why did you want to leave? In the face of what's going on now, it will sound stupid, but it just got to be a bit much, you know? If Patrick heard Her I eyes are scaring me. Even doing him any good by sticking around. He's looking into my soul. I've been trying to protect him all this time, but I couldn't. I've proven that much already. First in Pasadena, then at our hideout. I was thinking that maybe he'd be safer here at the shelter. But don't worry, I've changed my mind since. <laughs> Is there something on your mind? Actually? A secret? I have a secret to tell you. You've a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. And I don't think he could have chosen better. I don't think I'd make for a good role model. <laughs> I never knew Jacob Rivers could be so coy. You're proud. You're a hero. The Resistance owes you a lot. And so do I. If you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do. Exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Line months before it came. My father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. But what did you think about it? I didn't know what to think. <coughs> Travelers would bring all sorts of gossip with them. But this kept coming back. When Patrick asked me if I was scared, I lied and said that I wasn't. You could feel the mood change at the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly. And I started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous. And with time, it even got to my father. Did it ever get to you? Of course it did. For the first time in my life, there were only the three of us at the house. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door and started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. Didn't believe in guns? He wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. Said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like that. Spilling your guts is always good fun. Well, not always. It's a good thing to do every once in a while, I think. Under the right circumstances. During this mission, exact locations of your targets are not displayed. However, there are two signal strength indicators on the upper left corner of your HUD. Increasing percentage value indicates that you're moving towards the target. Decreasing value indicates that you're moving away from the target. Got it? Okay, I'm seeing two GPS trackers. Those should be our guides. What the hell are they doing here? Uh, 
I mean, it still shows you the side mission. Oh yeah, definitely not when you're uh, drunk, I agree. Alcohol in general. Probably not the best idea. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't really have enough time to do much more. So I think that's a good point to leave it. Um, but thanks everyone for stopping by and saying hello and stuff. Uh, we really appreciate everyone, as always. And, uh, yeah. Means the world to me, all the people that show up. So yeah, thanks everyone. I hope you guys enjoy your week, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Really appreciate it. So yeah, see you guys. Bye bye. Ba bum bum ba bum. -bum.